Hey guys, how's it going today? We are going to be playing something very special that I have for you as a result of having reached 200,000 subscribers. <coughs> Shut up, a man can dream. Anyway, since I uh, reached 200 subscribers, I decided that it might be a good idea to... Oh, so I've got... I just looked over my camera. I realized I've got oil on my hands and shit because I just spent three hours running errands. Well, walking errands because my car was fucked up. Anyway, now that my car is fixed and I got a chance to sit down, I came up with the idea of starting a new series. And that series happens to be something that I was originally going to call uh, Fuck Me Harder Daddy, but that ended up not working for obvious reasons, of course, because I have a daughter. And if, like, seven years from now we decided we wanted to try a game on the hardest difficulty playing together, it would be a little bit hard to be like, Hey, guys, my daughter's joining me for an episode of Fuck Me Harder Daddy. So... Jokingly, um, the original title of that, anyway, I decided to change it. It is going to be called FMUF, which stands for uh, Fuck Me Up Fam. And it's basically just going to be me playing a video game on the hardest difficulty or with specific challenges designed to be absolutely terrible and the original inspiration for this comes from actually um well cookie suggested that i play xcom on the hardest difficulty and record that because he thought it might be funny and uh fire emblem which is probably the reason why i love xcom because i've started playing it it's been the only thing that i've played for like the last week is very similar to this. I don't know why I had that gap there all of a sudden, so I decided I'd go ahead and start a new series where I play a video game on the hardest difficulty, cut out all of the load screens, of which there will probably be tons. Wait, Nicole is sending me pictures of my daughter. Look at this, look at this. Isn't, isn't that adorable? Look, look at her. Look at her, she's perfect. <gasps> she's in focus. And now I'm out of focus. Anyway, we will be... God damn, that's loud as fuck. Uh, we will be playing XCOM, Enemy Unknown, on the hardest difficulty. And the way that this will end up working is that we will be playing this. And if at some point in the future uh, there ends up being a different game that I decide to start playing, if that ends up becoming more well-received than the continuation of this, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll probably end up playing... Uh, XCOM, we might play some Skyrim at some point on the hardest difficulty. I actually have to publish the rest of those. Anyway, uh, starting right now, we will end up just cutting between a bunch of different, uh, things of me trying to play the game on the hardest difficulty. We'll actually, um, start it up right here, show you that it's on impossible. What is second wave? Weapons have a much wider range of damage. The funding offered by individual council members is randomized. Rookies will have random starting stats as a sort of promoter, their stats will increase randomly. You know what? Let's go ahead and start these. Individual council members is randomized. I don't think we're going to do that. But we can, we can go ahead and do uh, some wild cards here and then uh, impossible difficulty. Let's start it up. Get shit done. Show this game who's boss. I'm actually quite good at it. I think we'll go with North America. Okay. I haven't done the gas station yet. It's just an abduction, though, so we're killing aliens. Alright, so for those of you guys that haven't actually played this game, I'm not going to go too in-depth into it, but you basically control four different soldiers. You have different options based on uh, certain things, and you start off just regular assault rifles later. It'll split up into different things. I'm not going to make a tutorial about this. We're just going to go ahead and start playing the game. And hopefully I'll do fairly all right. Let's go ahead and save games. This is my uh, single player game that I've got going, which is game three. We'll go ahead and make a save here on game four and get going. Engaging. There you are. All right, first shot is a miss. No big surprise there. Okay, so they have one more health point than on the difficulty beneath this. And if they're mine linked like that and I kill the one that's doing the linking, that other one will die as well. Ooh, not good. Still only one damage, though. I expected the first time I'd be shot, the game would be over. Alright, you're gonna wanna fall back a little bit. 
see if we can uh, bring these guys out. Let's go ahead and take a shot at this guy. Yep, missed. That's all right. They just know that he's not on Overwatch. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to set these three on Overwatch, and then when they see that that guy isn't, they're going to... Um, I should probably take this off of mirror mode, but um, they're going to run out here, and if they run out closer to get a better shot at him, all three of these people will fire at them. Hey, you're damn right you missed. Yep, there we go. Reaction shots. Three damage. Oh, finish him. Damn. That's right, all three of them got their reaction shots off. A grenade can finish him. Uh, we can probably move in close and do that real quick. Yeah, we'll move a little bit close. Missed. Early on, before we actually get like some really good tactical advantage with our people, um, grenades are going to be very useful. I've only played just to the point of having the uh, the flying saucers attacking me. Oh, another couple. Oh, look. We're being attacked by a door frame. Oh, wait, that's not a door frame. We're being attacked by an ATM. Alright, so how many we... We've got six of them so far, four of me. This is not going to end well. You need to move. He's going to sit there. He, he's panicked, so he's going to sit next to an, a vehicle about to explode. You're dead. Fucking dumbass. That's a really far mind link. Bullshit, you can see her. Rookie Jensen was killed. 75% chance to hit actually wasn't that bad. Of course, you didn't hit anything. There's no way you hit anything with that. Can't even see him. I was about to ask where the other bitch was, but she just fucking died. Also, you can't pause on an alien turn. It has to be your turn. Also, I think out of all of the classes, Assault is my favorite, because you can just run in and shotgun real quick, deal 5 damage, and uh, insta-kill the majority of enemies. I don't know how the hell she's only managing to take one damage from every shot. I'm really happy about it, but she's still going to die. Welcome to the party, pal. She's dead. Oh, no. Missed. It's a fucking 2v6. I killed one with a grenade. Literally just shot the wall. I don't know what it is with this rookie, but she literally just will not die. And I'm very happy about it. Oh, and she takes one down. Do some damage. What? Oh, they do blow up. What logic tells you to throw a grenade through the windshield rather than just over the vehicle? Oh, she's so dead. Yep. Well, Alan is dead. Alright. Kill him. You fucking dumbass. Alrighty then. So we're going to see about uh, flanking behind inside. One thing I noticed from playing before is that a lot of the times when you've got a building on the map, rather than running straight in and charging the glass front, it's a lot better to get into that back room and then uh, breach and clear the building. I'm literally just going to be chucking down safes all the time. I'll cut most of them out. All right, we're going to see how a breach and clear works. Funny thing is, in the tutorial, it tells you that if you uh, open a door like that, it doesn't give away your position. It does. All right, 
We're gonna head right here. I'm gonna take a close shot on this guy. You dumb bitch. Is he dead? He was killed. She panicked and actually got something. So why the hell did she have a 100% chance to hit? One damage? I shot you square in the face. your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just Kill him. Consider. Yeah. Out! Kaboom. For fuck's sake. And your cover is gone. You fucking dumbass. God damn it. You fucking jerk. Oh, miss the target. Thank you. Hyperventilating pieces of shit. There you are. Four reaction shots and all of them missed. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Ow. Shoot him. How do you miss? Your bullets literally went through him. Little bitch. Your flank is shit. You should have died. Whining assholes. Oh look, you found more enemies. Dumbasses. Walk in here. I dare you. Bring it. Come on in. That's bullshit. He can just sit there and do that. Bitch. Eat nade. Um, how is it you don't see him? You literally, it shows, okay, it wasn't highlighted. He's down. Oh, and you're back over there now. Just die. Three damage, yes. Can the other guy get one? Get one. One damage. One damage. Fucking idiot! He's not even over there. My bitch is dead now, isn't she? Uh, 
Quit panicking. Watch that kill him. Shoot this little bitch. And then restart because I lost my fucking squad member. Am I going to see that little thingy through the wall again? Because if I see that, I'm throwing a grenade at it. Yep. So he's in that corner buffing him. So if I ignore him and instead shoot at that corner, I'll be good. You fucking quit shooting at my guy. Yeah! Four damage, little bitch. I can blow open the wall, damage the sectoid on the other side, and then finish off both of them at the same time. You're injured, you're not. You're gonna come out here. Kill this one. That fried his brain. They're up on the roof? Damn straight, you took two damage from that. Two damage. Cool. Okay, so what's my range on grenade? Because if I can, I'm going to kill that guy. I think I can get close enough to nade him. If I rush over here. Throw a nade right there. Kills both of them. That's the link broken and him dead. Is that the last one? Good work out there. Yes. Finally. Goddamn. 45 minutes. Teams are standing. All right. So uh, I did notice the flag for her. She's Swedish. So we got Swedish, American, German, and I think that's Irish. All right. So we're definitely going to want an extra satellite. We'll get that one building right away. And then we can go ahead and get that up over... Uh, a different place and then we'll end up uh, ordering some more ships too which I believe are 20 bucks each and then 10 monthly alright so we're definitely going to want to get those up and running as soon as possible as soon as I get another satellite up I can put more interceptors there $200 for scientists or for engineers I think we're going to want to go with the United Kingdom on this one because we're going to head over to uh, Europe as soon as we're done with the US. Alright, three sectoids. damage. Gross. Yeah, just shoot me in the head through the wall. You little bitch. Fuck you. These two are. And so are these two. Alright, kill them. I'm gonna use another explosion to take them out. One damage. Look at that. You missed. No, no, no. I want to go home. You bunch of pussies. Why is it my men that keep panicking? Oh yeah. Med kits fix everything. Calm down. Yes, calm down. Goddamn panicking bastards. Eyes on target. There we are. Don't destroy the bookshelf I'm hiding behind. Reactive shot.
Finish him. Yeah. Down. Overwatch down. Which means now I'm free to walk up and finish off you. Run here. Run a gun. And point blank this bitch in the face. Alright, one more encounter completed. Zero damage taken. Back online. You also have to reload your guns a lot more often on the highest difficulty. On the move. Oh, it's go time. Yeah, run away, you little bitches. I know, right? The Seriously, only the pistol hit? Coming in from the side. Don't kill him. <laughs> Fuck! You both missed. And then they can see him on Overwatch so they won't move. Help! Help! You only lost half your health. And now, oh, I was gonna say you've ruined your turn, but he fucked him up still. Why are you panicked? Oh, you got him to... <laughs> Good job, panicked guys. <laughs> yes, Commander. Actually, let's see how well this works. Throw a grenade right there. damage to him and then he can run up to here. Run a gun. Run all the way to right there. Oh, reaction shot. Yeah, you're dead. Oh no, he missed. Haha. <laughs> and the wall's open now. Nope, this one. There you go. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. There's panic in South Africa. And panic in Australia. Why are we automatically in danger of losing them from the council if I literally only had one mission that I could choose? And if I hadn't chosen the UK, the other two would have just freaked out anyway. And then we want some weapon fragments. So South Africa and Australia want some help. My satellite's done in 14 days. All right, we can afford three of these. All right, weapon fragments are now researched. Scope is available. I expected that would be a. Go ahead and check down the xenobiology. All right, fighting a UFO. This screen isn't supposed to be on right now. We have eyes on the bandit. All right. And now we're sending in our people. All right, so we got Assault, Support, Sniper, Sniper. We're going to take off Amen. And we're going to put on my heavy. 
give some nano vests. Alright, you're not gonna wear one, I guess. I hate that it takes up the grenade slot. But we're gonna go ahead and chuck it on. And we'll just get down, chuck down a save real quick. It looks like the alien. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. All right. So thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate uh, any support that is given at any point, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I very much did not enjoy making it, and I'll see you guys next time.